Hey guys. So my mom for Mother's Day, it's funny because we both got each other plants. She got me two of these that she grew herself. And I'm going to keep it in the pot and I'm going to paint it the color oh. that I painted the I thought you just wanted me to shut the thing. I'm sorry. No, I just, I needed it down because it was at a high level and I don't want to die. Right. See you soon. So he had to get the paint down for me because he put it up tall. <laughs> so, yeah, this. I probably should have gotten a paper towel or something. Probably going to have two layers of this on there. I like this a lot better than the orange, even though I do like terracotta pots. I like it better outside than I do inside. And this is going to go in my um, step in the living room, like the step up. Um, I should probably repot this, but I don't have any pots at the moment. And I don't really want to go out and buy any. So I'm just going to paint it. It's going to, like, nobody's going to touch it. It's going to sit there in the corner of the stairs. And uh, we're going to enjoy looking at it every day because it's, like, right in our view. And that's going to be nice. These are old pots that she just used, you know, just to transfer plants. She's very good, like I said, at uh, growing, growing things from starts what's next you want to pick this off with that pick what off you mean yeah sure so i have this Here. and this is what i finished my this one is english chestnut i used all of the other i used an entire can but that's okay I had one here at the house when I moved here. I don't know what he stained with it, but he had one. And then I bought one, and I was going to use it, and it didn't work out for the project that I wanted to do. So anyway, I painted my pots here, and I was very heavy-handed. You could see there is still dirt on here. There's streaks. That's what I wanted. Are you done with this one? Yeah, done with that one. And now I'm going to take probably just the lid, that would be enough. I'm going to dip it very, very lightly and then streak it onto here, make it look like a, a expensive pot. Am I right? Sure. Sure. Think I can do it? Yeah. Cool. This is probably too much. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah. That's pretty. Just want to get it on there a little bit. Can you see it? Don't want to pick it up too much. It's still wet. When I was in probably second grade, I went to, I need more paint than that, gotta blot it off though. I went to a church, you know, and my pastor's wife, she was my um, Sunday school teacher, and she would teach us all kinds of things. And one of them was she asked us to bring in a salad dressing jar, any kind of salad dressing jar. So I did. I brought in, like, it was like real salad dressing, not a uh, bottle of mayonnaise. Um, it was an empty container she wanted. So what she did was she showed us how to make it into a flower vase. And it was so pretty. And I had it up until I went to Israel. Probably got rid of it then. I don't know what happened to it. But um, 
we would take masking tape, the kind of like tape that's like real soft and tan, and we would rip it into just little pieces, like just little and random, and we would put it on the bottle. And then we took, which you don't have to do this, you can use, I've since you've done it to make it look like wood, like wood lids, um, you put brown shoe polish on there. You don't have to do that. You can use any brown paint, brown stain, whatever. You can paint any color, honestly, and just put it on. And she got me to thinking, wow, I can just take anything and make it pretty, you know. Uh, garbage that I was going to throw it away and she had like flowers there for us to put in there and I don't know if we made that for Mother's Day or what but I took that home off so proud of it because well one it took me a long time it does take a long time to rip up a bunch of tape and I just thought it was so pretty and I made it by myself out of garbage <laughs> and ever since then I've like really liked to do stuff like that. So this is basically what it's going to look like. It looks like a way more expensive pot than a plastic piece of garbage pot that you get with your plant that you're supposed to throw away. Now I really don't want to go and buy a pot if I can make it look like this. Fake it up! Definitely got to get my fingerprints off of it. But yeah, I'm really going to like looking at this. And knowing that my mom gave it to me just like this. And I made it into something pretty. Very happy with that. So I'll leave this out here to dry. Um, probably for like an hour. Hope that Rudy doesn't touch it. She'd been jumping up and getting cans. We had um, ginger ale and root beer. The ginger ale she got two cans of. She loved it. She didn't touch the root beer. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. She's gray. She was an abused dog, so we don't punish her when she does something like that. Um, but she already, like, she cowers all the time because she, she's an abused dog. She, her owners went to jail, and that's the reason why we have her. She, the day that their court case um, ended in their jail time was the day that the woman brought her out, and she's like, here, this one, she is up for adoption. And we were originally there to get, like, a pit bull or a um, German Shepherd. That's the um, kind of dog that we wanted. A pit bull or a German Shepherd. One that was highly trainable. She is trainable. I mean, she does some naughty things. Which is understandable because she's a dog. And she's, um, she's under two right now. You know. But she's been trained as much as we can train her with our knowledge and we've looked things up on what to do for her but um, she's a good dog she is trainable but she does have like she's extremely it's so sad she is extremely afraid of brooms we notice because well that's one reason we wanted to stop using a broom on this patio is because every time we got it out she would like think that she was going to get hit by a broom, I think. I think that's what her owner used to hit her with. So she was afraid of it. She wasn't scared of, like, rakes. It was brooms. Because we had the rake around and she never did anything weird, but brooms she did. So, um, I am glad that we have her. I think because she was in that situation that she is probably most likely a more loyal dog than, you know, a dog from a puppy mill, that's for sure. Um, we would never 
buy a dog. We're we're really against that for ourselves. Like we don't hold protests or anything against puppy mills, but we're against doing it ourselves and we wouldn't buy a dog like that. But I am glad that we were able to rescue her. Um, the time that we got her, you need to check if you're going to go get a dog. I would definitely get one from the pound. The pound, they don't call it that anymore, but get one from the pound where they're going to euthanize the animals because the other place, they may say that they're not for profit, but what we found out there is they are. So that wasn't, we weren't impressed by that. And I had always, before, I had always like donated stuff to that place. Um, but now we donate to the pound because they actually euthanize them if they don't have enough supplies. And that is what we're trying to prevent them from euthanizing animals. So they actually, I'm like, they're not there trying to euthanize them. They have like, if they don't have enough money to take care of the animals, that's what they do. So. Realistically, we wish that it didn't exist, and we wish that they didn't have to do that, but they do. So this one's a bit darker, and that's okay too. Probably should lighten it up, but I don't think it will. Rough it up a bit. I think it looks good when it's roughed up and different different textures on it. Makes it more interesting. So yeah, I like that. That's going to be a little messy. I don't know if I'm going to try to plug the holes or not because I'm only going to water this. I'll probably mist it, right? Because there's succulents. I don't know. I'll probably end up killing it too. I have another project that I want to try to use this with. This is Raphael's old desk and it was Abigail's too I mean she used it for the computer too I want to make it well English chestnut because that's all I have left here and it's pretty dark however it is very orange <laughs> and uh, this was the color of our walls before I stained that one wall and painted the other so Maybe I'll go in with just this brush while it still has paint on it and start to do it. I will have to buy some spray lacquer for it later on and, um, you know, clear coat it because this kind of stain doesn't, I've noticed it doesn't like fully dry. It stays tacky. Like it takes forever to, what, what is the word? Cure. So that's not especially good. Uh, for things like that that have surfaces on them, but that needs stained. It is very orange, so I'm going to get to that. Okay, there is the very first coat. I want it much, much darker than that, but the paint is showing up underneath of it, so when I put another coat on it, and you can see the orange streaks through it, it kind of looks artistic or something, but... Um, when I put another coat on it, it's going to look much, much better. And here's just one coat of just the stain. It's going to cover it really nicely down here. Really? Neo. Gross. Okay, so there's the side done. I really like how that is coming along. Uh, the second coat will be more for forgiving on, like, accidents. <laughs> so it'll look a lot better. I think I'll put two coats on this. I think I'm going to let it dry overnight before I put the second coat on. That'll make it a lot stronger. Because this will, if I don't put a clear coat on it, it will like just scratch off or wipe off. And I don't want it to transfer on anything because Abigail, this is going to be Abigail's desk now. And I'm going to put it in the other living room, like our dining room, living room. 
and because it matches the wood in there it'll look a lot better in there than it would if it was orange because it I put it in there and I was like ah <laughs> it was a real eyesore now it looked all right in our family room our Florida room because the walls were orange and it just matched but this is like an obscene orange color of wood it's not a nice color <laughs> of wood um, I wouldn't even know what you call this color but it's not it's not a nice blonde um, it's orange for sure so I got it on a good discount too which is good it's a all wood desk very nice it's gonna be perfect for Abigail for her drawing this one I may because it pulls out I may do something different with this top but I'm gonna go ahead and stain it too yeah I'm really liking how that's looking so far. Again, I'm going to put another coat on it so it's more like a dark like that. Uh, but yeah, I like how that's looking so far. This is going to need another coat. I already put one more coat here. It's probably going to need three coats total. And that's what I started with. And I think it looks like a much more expensive, nicer, well-made piece than that. Um, have to do the chair in a minute. These bugs are eating me up. I got deer flies all over the place right now, so I'm gonna have to hurry up. Okay, here's where I'm ending with the top tonight, and I pretty much like how that looks. And I may or may not put just a little bit more tomorrow. So I have to do this tray, and then I will be pretty well done for my first coat. Yeah, that looks good. She surprises me every time because I always think about this as like a carpenter's job and she just, her DIY projects are great. Uh, this is a little less, like these are two different colors, but I think it's just a reflection of the light um, and the position we're in. Really nice. Looks professional. Accidentally left the ice box too long on this rug yesterday. Thing really was trying to sit here. <laughs> so I uh, dried it out. Looks pretty good now. Here's her freshly painted planters. Oh, I need Raphael's tablet. Raphael's tablet. Uh huh. Is this where you want it? Uh, around there, yeah. Like, oh, it is a little wet still. Yeah, it's a Did you ruin it? God forbid. <laughs> I added texture to it. I didn't ruin it. I don't remember that for Your tablet, Raphael. Quick question, Abigail. What do you think about the plants? Yeah, that completely Raphael? transformed yeah. it, didn't it? What do you think about the plants, Raphael? That corner. Good. Right there, Raphael. Ooh, two little flower pots with... Uh, are these flowers or just grass? They're called flowers. succulents. They're like desert plants. They don't take very much water. Mm. Now, the only question will be, do we want to put those lanterns on a very invisible post behind them? Yeah. Kind of like that, but... The contrast, I think, looks great. It's very modern, I think. The the white yeah. and the sand color is kind of what we went for in the rest of the house, yeah. but we just don't have light like this. And when you don't have light, things get much more saturated and dark. Pro tip from a uh, not not a pro. Okay, so I like that, but I want to see my lanterns too, so I may put them on the other side of the. You can talk steps. about that tomorrow. We'll talk about that tomorrow. You got stuff to do. Yeah like relapse for you relapse into the television yes that's because i've had enough of today <laughs> i think our setup is the best we can have besides upgrading to a bigger tv that's the best setup we can have for relapsing what do you oh, think yeah this is a great theater room this is why all of these windows are covered if we had the room in a different room like the living room in there we would probably do it in there but this was this was a very comfortable right den for us, so I'm very happy with it. Whoop. Right here. And right there. What? Speakers. Oh, yeah. And you're in between them. Yes, it is a very nice theater room. Um, I like it very much. We got the best TV that we could get for, like, we could have gotten point. like a 20 more inches bigger TV for a lot more money, but we got the best TV for this size and it's a really good quality watching experience and 
You kind of forget, we though. The Matrix, and it was like a totally different movie. You gotta tell them. You kind of forget until someone else comes in, and they're like, ooh, wow. Ah. Yeah. My mom and dad, they're like, ooh, you know. Uh, we want them to come and watch TV, but they don't come and watch TV. Well, they love it up here, though. They love sitting out here on this you porch. You say that, but so she's going to cool. be here tomorrow. Yeah, she's coming tomorrow. So we'll get to visit tomorrow. Okay. Thankfully. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Good night. Water, water, water. Get really, really wet. Important people handed him awards. Not looking good. Clean that up. Bring me the stick. She's not going to bring me the stick. <laughs> She's trotting. Let's hate on the blue. Hey.